Hello there, YouTube, and welcome to something a little bit different. Whereas normally on this channel, we like to watch whatever's groovy in that day and in that, in that uh, given time. Today, we're going to be going out of our realm of normality and doing something that I'm now dubbing as <clears throat> premium slop. Something that has been uh, projected from my own creativity and my own yearnings. Something that's required actually me putting in effort, which when it comes to reactionary content is unheard of. But you know what? I think it's important to share creativity. And we have our lovely friend Tia joining us. Links to their uh, stuff shall be down below. Um, Tia, you want to say hello to the people out there? Yeah, sure. Hi, I'm Tia. I have ramen and I'm here to educate Kari on my brain rot because it goes very deep. Send help. And if you want to send help, you can come by the Twitch channel and use your Prime and gain it. And <laughs> uh, so, you I suppose, just. I suppose it's probably poignant if I explain what we're doing. So, mm. I want to get into doing a little bit of a series where we take a look at different canon universes and the cinematics and creative videos that go into it, things that are relevant for that universe. Uh, for example, maybe if we, were to, if we were theming around League of Legends, we'd watch all the League of Legends cinematics and see how amazingly they've developed over time. So we can get a real feel for what is out there for that universe. And to start ourselves off, we are going to be taking a look at Warhammer. Uh, we're going to be looking at a bunch of the game cinematics. We're going to be looking at some of the uh, lore cinematics to really feel just how this universe is as expansive and see what is out there for people who may not have seen some of these games or whatever, what have you. And of course, Tia's here yeah. for that because they're big on the, uh, the old Warhammer stuff. Yeah, Kari said I couldn't talk about the Horus Heresy, so this is the next best thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I've gotten a collection of cinematics. Uh, we will go through them in no particular order. Um, this is predominantly for the amusement and entertainment and because I'm a slut for animation and honestly Warhammer makes my gooey brain go ha. Huh. Um, there's probably some cinematics and animations that I should have found that I just haven't. Uh, but with the ones that we have, it's still going to be about 20 minutes worth of content, and I didn't want this video to be a million hours. If people really like this, maybe we'll watch some of the other stuff in a later video as well. Who knows? Who knows? So, starting us off um, is one of the most recent cinematics to come out from the Warhammer universe, which is the trailer for Paria Nexus, which is a TV series. Pariah. Pariah. Pariah? Oh, sorry, English is hard. Pariah. Pariah. Yep. Pariah Nexus, uh, which is an animation coming out, which was evidently... Games Workshop's uh, self-flagellation. Self-aggrandizing would be a good word. It was their response to the fact that people liked other people's content better. They saw Astartes and were like, hey, we could do that. And then they did. And then it was worse. <laughs> oh, that's getting that's getting into that is getting into some industry <laughs> politics that we don't need yeah. to go near right now. Um, oh, boy. We are not watching Astartes, by the way. There is already React Andy on my main channel for that. Uh, maybe we'll go back and watch that again at some point for the second channel. Uh, but it's always a good watch. It's always a good watch, but I don't want to make the same content too soon after each other. So, uh, if you guys really want to, we'll go back and watch that again because it's always fun to watch. But still, let's see what this first one is. Let's get into it. Have you seen this, by the way, Tia? Mm mm. Okay, so you're about to grimace as much as I did. GW, a name of quality, but also a name of plagiarism and absolute hypocrisy. Oh yes. Holy Emperor. Lord. Well, clearly this can't be this can't be in the Warhammer universe. Right off the bat, a girl in the Warhammer universe? Pfft, don't, girls don't exist more on like, the internet. More likely than you'd think. But again, Humanity. that's politics, so we're not going to get into it. <laughs> Forgive my weakness. The Sisters of Battle. Mercy. <laughs> See, I saw, I saw a couple of things in this, and I couldn't think, help but think to myself of, Mum, can we have Astartes? But darling, we have Astartes at home. Astartes at home. It, it looks a little bit cartoony, and I'm not sure if I really dig it, but I don't know, maybe, maybe the story will be more interesting. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I would just rather have not lost the Astartes for the sake of this. Yeah. At the same time, though, this will age really well True. as True. a more cartoony format. So, 
I can understand why that, they went that, that way. That's a poignant thing to that. Uh, and I'll say this as an animator. Um, if you ever want anything to age well in the animation industry, make it heavily stylized because anything that's hyper-realistic ages like Tia's dinner. <laughs> Leave my leave my plight out of this. Also, I will say I love I love the design of these Necrons. Engage the yep. Rectify the anomaly of their continued. It's also existence. weird seeing Necrons being an individual rather than just a okay. tournament. Look if you're if you're at the top of the food chain for the Necron you? society. It is better to die. Mostly you are than... still good. Mm-hmm. There's that saying. Oh, the glorious emperor. It is better to die for the emperor than live for yourself. Which is the biggest mm. cope anyone has ever made for rationalizing why they're committing genocide. <laughs> then yep. live for yourself. I forget the name of those units, but uh... Necron what assassins do exist. Mm. Ooh, there we go, Red Helm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, if I'm not mistaken though, wasn't that Red Helmet originally supposed to be a punishment? Like, somebody who's been shamed in a Space Marine Legion? Ooh, ooh. Back to the Horus Heresy. I knew we'd get here eventually. <laughs> yes. Nope. Red Helm is a Mark of Censure. Uh, but because of, I forget the name of the Marine um, who was, uh, who had it and was like the most well known yeah, of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I remember like, seeing that story somewhere. It was, I, I've been yeah. revising in the time since the last video we did for this. Yeah, because it was like, yeah. it, it, was it, was, it was changed from a mark of uh, shame to a mark of uh, honor. Honor. Yeah, yep. yeah, and like it's like now a captain, or not a captain, but a sergeant, which is smart. I do like the fact the Imperials the Imperium, look pretty damn decent as well. Of lives are lost they do, day. and they got the scaling right, which is it always matters. cool. Yeah, Life like the, matters, uh, uh, the more the more I watch this, Ooh. the more I like it. Like originally, I kind of saw it and was like, "Ah, oh, man, we could have had Astartes," but to be honest, this kind of works. Ooh, I mean, destroyer clade. It, it's Scary. still it's still to a sentiment where a lot of the fan work is better than what GW make themselves. But you know, it's, it's nice to see them actually making something like this. Yeah, no, like there it means the that there's hope. Oh, oh, crunchy. There's hope for the there's hope for the series. There's, there's a lot of potential for this coming out. Oh. I was about to say, if anything would have put me off from watching this, if those las guns had any recoil. Yep, they they weren't paying attention to their own law. That is looking very. That has a lot of potential, and I'm warming to it more the more I see of it. So that's that's an interesting thing coming in the future. The next thing we're gonna watch yep. is. Uh, oh my god, you really did make a list. One, I two, did. three, four, uh, five. This six, is seven, eight. this is gonna be the new edition cinematic trailer, uh, which I've never seen. Fourteen vids. I, I just got jested it. You'll, you will also notice a theme, and this is something that I, uh, I, I pointed <sighs> oh, out before. Ultra Smurfs. Whenever they make something that has the ability for, the play, for a player to play something in the Warhammer universe, you notice it's always the Space Marines or Imperial Guard that you play as as a priority. It, so, there is a there is method to that. Well, yeah, Games it's, Workshop it's, it's has to make, come out and it's to make it's uh, uh, people prefer to play as. The humans because it's it's a it's a re yeah. re 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 a relativity thing like nobody yes. the humans like to think that the humans are going to win kind of thing and it's uh a lot <laughs> a, a lot of it's it's a business it's a business practice it's why space marines and imperial guardsmen get well, so much love in the tabletop because they they know that people will try and play what they're well uh, it's not just that either um the big thing that games workshop has gone on record of saying is that model sales govern all of their decisions mm -hmm. what sells the most are space marines and imperial guard and other human units and so that's where all the love and money goes it's why we still don't have new codices and yeah. units for things like the dark eldar like, right I, I, I can those only, models just don't sell i can only think of a handful of games off the top of my head that's in the warhammer universe and this is like 40k specifically we're not talking about fantasy where you play as anything other than the humans as it were um, I know Fire Warrior existed, and that was freaking. <laughs> that was we don't talk about Fire Warrior. Yeah. Um, mm. But I guarantee you, if there was ever a game that came out where you just play as like Tyranids or whatever else, what, it would it would never sell as well just because of how people flock to the most popular thing. Yep. Ah, it's Mr. Sullyman. Victory. Girly man. That is what the preachers cry. It is the actually. Rabute, girly man. Rabute. 
What commander tell the Gilliman. soldiers yep. in their service? Uh, I, I get a bit of a StarCraft vibe out of that. Very Zelnaga the looking. Crusade meets with oh. triumph after triumph. You should, for reasons, and you know why. Uh huh. Day by day God, the eye of oh, they did a good job. Mm -hmm. They did a good job with the warp tear. Oh, I like that. Oh, and the Tyranids. Drive back the mutant. A mutant. The heretic. That's the a good shot. I like that. It really puts into perspective the scope of things. Ah, yes, my favorite flavor of genocide: the Tyranid kind. Ooh, Reavers. Reavers are like the perfect starting words, marines if you want to get into collecting. Now people people shit on uh, ultramarines, but they do do they do do the work. They do because they're written to. Um, the ones that I really want to see right now are my boys, the Dark Angels. Since you know oh, that's so our cool. other fucking Primarch is back. I love that. That's like a callback to the older Space Marines as well. Crusade. It is. The stars. Mark Seven gear. Like seeing all this new, all, all these this new gear that uh, what's his face has made. Taking the fight. But Carl, the come on, Carl. Belisarius Carl. Yes. Like snarky boy, and I love him. You know, they 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 read the assignment. They didn't just bring the flamer. They brought the heavy flamer. Yes, they did, cause. Wait, is that a flamer with a friggin' bolt gun attachment? A, a, a bolt gun with a flamer attachment? Dude, that's sick. Yep. So. <gasps> dreadnought! And it's the new type of dreadnought, which is significantly cooler looking than the old one, in my opinion. Uh, do we, are we gonna get a better shot? Better Show shot the bird lord. I, I, I haven't uh, seen the new, the new dreadnoughts. Oh, they're so much cooler. I mean, dreadnoughts in general look amazing. In fact, one of my very first ever models I ever bought when I started collecting was a dreadnought, and it was made of pure fucking metal. <laughs> this Yo, thing dude, I miss I miss the weapon. metal models. So I much. do too. Uh, Not only could you use uh, them for uh, making sure as a paperweight, but you could use them to defend yourself. If some kid got angry that you beat them with a model that they hated. Yo, dude, that strat's not in the books. You me you met a gaming cheese wheel scrub. We and not a combi bolter involved. either. Like, we broke ooh, ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go, go back to girly man in there. Right there. Stop. Too far. Right there. You see the banner? Oh, Blood Angels. The... Yeah. Okay. Interesting. That, and then off to the left there, the Iron Warriors. Oh. Do we think this is maybe and like that... the uh, main citadel? Honey, that is that's the gate to the emperor. He's oh. on the other fucking side of that door. I thought so. I thought so. Oh wait, uh, yeah, this so cinematic, these, uh, is cinematic. Is, is this isn't for a game. This is just something GW put out for um yep. For that new uh era of models, <clears throat> right? Yep. So so on the left there, the eye is not the inquisition, that's the eye for the sons of Horus that is Iron Lords back there. Um, and then Blood Angels right here, which obviously they should be honored, and they're in the front and center because, <laughs> duh. Uh, so, yeah, there's some places where the secrets are still left out in the open. Yeah, no kidding. Because oh, ain't nobody can get any closer. Also, this is the first time I've seen an apothecary actually Soon in a cinematic like this. That's so cool. Will be but a memory. Which one is he? No, he's still an ultra oh, smurf. You, you said which one is he? <laughs> More like which one was he? <laughs> That's what I said. Was just there. Oh no, no, he's still going. Uh, he's still going. Look at him go. Damn. Yep. Yep, Primaris. Oh, shoot. They are a lot okay, so meatier than they used to be. Yup. Twin Link Laz Cannon. Cool, cool, cool. Like it, like it. In fact, this was the exact loadup my Dreadnought had when I bought it. Had. Had. <laughs> Damn. You know what's kind of wild? The, uh, the way they've made this, it even makes them look like the models. Like, there's this whole, like, uh, depth of field and kind of focused looking kind of thing. They actually yep. look like yep. animated models, like that you would see on the tabletop. So my theory here is that when they actually started making the models for tabletop, obviously they did 3D renders. Yeah, yeah. I think these are those 3D renders. Oh, you think? Yeah, because you have it. You don't have to re-engineer it from the ground up. You yeah, may yeah, look, as well. Uh, you, you see it really easily here, look. 
It's the uh, it's the shading, the kind of like the the way they're doing yep. the shader render, the shade rendering. It looks like it's been dry brushed. That is so cool. It Yo, uh, it's so good. Thank you, Dalek. Thank you. But it is our hope that will die. Oh, that dude's having oh, a party. There's a lot of harmacons. Oh, and Yo, teleport deep player. Striking. Storm bolters? No. <gasps> Not deep strikes. Just a teleport flare. Oh, that gambling uh. gun. <laughs> what is, is that? That's, what is it? What was that storm chain gun? I can't remember. It's not a storm bolter. It is a. The other guy is uh, storm bolter. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where is my brain? What the fuck is it? Ah, uh, you know, uh, it's not. It's uh, auto, auto cannon. Auto yes. cannon. Yes, That's you. the one. Yep. Right before they started the giving them uh, more ep epithetic names of. Uh, the, 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 the like thematic Ooh, name. Power X. Ooh. Wait, is Ooh, that like a... rare? Oh, wait, 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 wait. That wasn't an Ultramarine. That wasn't an Ultramarine. That was Death Watch. Yo, look at that design though. Oh. Um, he's he's yep, got some. Death Watch. I wonder if he's um. Oh, who was that guy who Six. went into the vo into into the eye and ended up staying there? One of the Primarchs. No, that's that. No, that's not him. Oh, okay. Not even a little bit. <laughs> you would know. It yeah, would be a lot bigger free. deal. Stop. <laughs> I will give you an MOA citation. Don't go on. Yeah. Don't. That, those must be sharp to penetrate a Terminator armor. What? Yeah. Um. So, remember? <gasps> he's Ooh, that's so pretty! Oh, no, he is. No, uh, no. He's still Death Watch, but he's... He is a one on loan. Oh, that's so cool! This that, that sixth company. That is some detail, right? That dude, I I am nerding out so hard. Oh, it is. No, it's an Ultramarine. There you go. Death Watch Ultramarine. He is. Yeah, Death Watch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, again. He's angry. Oh, against Psycho. Uh, uh... Oh God. The uh, Zoanthropes. Victory. Victory as the galaxy burns. God. Victory. The really puts around. into perspective how fucked humankind Victory. is when there's this kind of shit they have to put up with. <laughs> yeah, well, again, it is. It's very appropriate because this is the everyday. Mm hmm. Oh, that and was he a wakes very up and he. Cinematic. Oh, he's on the honor of McCrag. I love it. That is the flagship. By the way, that ship is fucking terrifying. That ship is as old as Rabute. Yeah. McCrag's uh, Honor McCrag, yeah, like it is a Gloriana class battle cruiser. So like the big bat, the big 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 ship that has never ever 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 been reproduced. They only made twenty, one for each legion, kind of oh, big. Oh shit! Like, Damn. Yeah, that, that's a that's a big deal then. I mean, yeah, like and it's as, it's as, been as in scummy... service for ten thousand years. Yeah, <laughs> as as scummy as GWR. When they do go ham on some of these trailers, they really go ham. And th these ones are so mm. impressive. Uh, so the next they one we're going to see is it. the Horus Heresy cinematic trailer, which I was actually suggested, which is what actually started this entire evening of what you're watching me to begin with. And I knew you were going to grin at this. <laughs> I love 30k. BK! Mark V! I never wanted this. Abaddon? You no, that's Horus. I see the maze. But what you did want was a lozenge, because boy, your throat sounds hoarse. I never that is, well, horse. More like Horus. <laughs> that Mark is Horus Lupercal. Oh, the War Master. Wait, isn't he the guy that? Oh my! Wasn't he the guy that killed the Emperor? Mm hmm. <laughs> Spit on him. <gasps> Context. Uh, what about design? Uh, Beaky. That's like uh, a centurion, centurion kind of thing. Yeah, that's a 30k. That's a 30k set. Oh, 30k has arm the best armor. Well. Damn, so, context. Savage. Context there. Horus there. Literally the first Primarch found. Emperor's favorite for years, like over 100 years. Um, And he was nominated the War Master. And he's also the one who once kind of left alone, c cracked under the pressure, and went, Father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> In um, those words, exactly. Um, he was the most human of all the Primarchs. Me. 
go. <laughs> Goodbye, Imperial Fist. Say, if you wanted to get out of this, when you get stabbed like that, just say harder, Daddy. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, so just, just go harder, Daddy. He would have oh, let you go. So fucking cool. Just dragging a space marine along like a freaking used napkin. Well, yeah, he doesn't weigh anything in comparison. Literally the greatest superhuman who's ever lived. Yo, oh, are those ooh. titans? Warhound yes, they titans? Are. No, not uh, not Warhound, but Warlord. Oh, Warlord so class cool. titans. And they yep. go, what, what are those? I, I mean, the Chaos have titans, right? Yep, um, it's 30k. They wouldn't have warped yet. Again, it's a civil war, hon. It's literally so let it be standard war. against standard. For the most part. Shit, dude. See? Oh my god. Oh, that, that shot hey, right boys. there. That shot right there. A single Ugh. shot from this thing would have been the size of a car. Those Titans kind of big? Yeah. No, those are. Oh. Damn. And here comes the, the new blood. Of terror to the galactic yep. Yep. Dude, this is just adrenaline. <gasps> Ooh. Yep, so. Yep, so those are Sons of Horus. And they are very Centurion, very Roman Legion. Always is have it, been. Is it bad? If you look at I the... really want to see more 30k armor. Like, this has such a vibe to it. 30k armor is the coolest armor, by far and away. If you ever see... Actually, go look it up right now. Mark II power armor. Oh, this. shoot. Okay. The Crusade era armor is the coolest fucking shit like that was, I, I, ever. I can, there's very much a, a vibe of like medieval kind of Hello there. Uh, yep. so the thing that everybody gets wrong is that helmet doesn't turn oh <laughs> your head turns within it that's why it is a wide open slit you know what else is a wide open slit <laughs> close your legs hon they don't need to know that <laughs> Sorry, sorry. You left... angels! My baby! Anyway. You left that one right open for that joke. Like my slit. <laughs> mm. ah, sorry, too easy, too easy, too easy. Uh -huh. That'll be edited out. No, it won't. Ooh, <laughs> who is that? Sorry, this one, this this one's fascinating. I haven't seen, I haven't really looked anything into You don't know much about, you don't no, know no, much 30, about 30k, do 30K you? 30k specifically, I know nothing about, like, my understanding of 40k is, is media at the best, but 30k? There's so much intrigue to this. I know 40k, but I love 30k. 30k is actually where I, all my I favorite want, shit I, is. I want to see a game entirely in the 30k universe. It, there it, it is. It, it's a mobile game. Yeah, I know, but like a proper AAA game. Because it would give so much like context to everything that's coming out soon. Kind of thing. Oh, that yeah. shot! Ah! Whoa! What? Oh, so by the way, this is also the era when um, the Imperial fleets were at their highest and also the word bearers were everywhere. And so like causing full de demonic uh, incursions with thousands of ships around a planet just to fucking wipe it was normal. Why, like, uh, why, why commit? 30k it... is a, a different kind of scale than 40k. It's insane. Yeah, no kidding. This is why this is why like every everything I ever hear about this kind of stuff. It just makes me even more interested by the uh and that's, the depth of it. Oh my god, that's probably Isfan 3, come to think or of Kadia. it. Kadia? Do you think Kadia? No, honey. Kadia as it sat right now didn't doesn't exist like you think it does. It has a bunch of primal tribesmen that fucking word bearers went, "Oh hey, you know of the warp and you're a bunch of shamans and you're who are going to lead us into the Eye of Terror and convert us." That happened. Those were Cadians oh. originally, and then they purged them so that there was no imperial record of that. Um, that was Isvan Three. That's where the Traitor Legions purged the Loyalist elements. I love listening to this. I could. I, I'm glad I have you on for this because it makes this so much more. There's so much more like Again, knowledge the, coming out of this. That that was that wasn't Drop Site Massacre. That's Isvan Five. Um, same system, Ooh. but. Sorry, every time I see these, uh, ti I, I love the Titan concept in, in all this. And just any time I get to see a yeah. shot like this. Mm. Also, remember, those are void shields, like on a starship. The last they transfer kinetic blood. energy into the war. That's how they work. I will see the galaxy free the God, this, this I trailer love seeing goes so hard. the bayonets what on the everything. Fuck? Oh my, my God, did they just exterminate that Titan? 
Yeah, no, that was a <laughs> lance strike from orbit. Again, holy crap! That was a lance strike from orbit, and you know the even scarier thing. Yeah, that's. Oh, by the way, that's the vengeful spirit. That's Horus's flagship. Remember those twenty Gloriana class battleships? Fuck. I was or battle cruisers? I was telling you about. Uh huh. That one's also still around. You know who flies in that right now? All right, ask. Abaddon the Despoiler. God, first damn. captain of the Sons of Horus. Also, that is an appropriate reaction for watching an exterminatus from a distance. <laughs> Save it from your failure. It's not. That's not an exterminatus. They literally just shot from orbit. Shit, dude. It was just one shot. Oh, and that's not even for a game either. That was just like another update, right? That's. Nope, that's the Horus Heresy. That is literally 30k rules, which has an entirely different rule set from the base 40k game. Fun fact. Oh my god. That's yeah, badass. Okay. no. Uh, it is. It's the one where all of the really, really... You, th you think regular 40k models are expensive? Uh-uh. 30k, almost exclusively, is Forge World models. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, that's, you know, where one dude runs $75. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I uh, I can barely and pay my rent not... at the moment. Let's not worry about that, shall we? <laughs> no, they're the heavy resin print. Like, they're the good, good, good models. Mm -hmm. But they're also priced accordingly. Yes. Ooh, well, kill no, team! Nothing is priced accordingly from GW. They are overpriced as shit. No wonder why people 3D Oops. print their stuff these days. Uh, so the next video is the kill team cinematic. I, I've never heard of this one, so this is going to be entirely new for me. So, kill team is... For context, another tabletop. It is the like small squad to squad tabletop game. Oh, okay. Where you literally make like a squad of ten, oh, more like and D &D. you go. Not like D and D. It's still a war game, but it's a but it's more like XCOM. Oh, okay. Oh, oh really? Okay, cool. Uh, it's really cool. It's uh, really really cool. Sometimes victory lies sometimes... not in the might of armies, but on the blades and valor of a few. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Solomacarius! Oh, he's so cool, too! Ah, Hive City. I know of these because of Dark Tide. Yep, oh, ooh, so, my here we go. Krieg boy! Yep, uh -oh. and orcs. Oh, where's brought on the orcs? What are you doing down so, here, Yumi? You causing a ruckus? Oh, I don't think you're gonna go over with that, you little rascal! Oh, dear. Oh dear. Oh That's yeah. Metal as fuck. <laughs> yep. Kill team's the cool is awesome. Those boys brought themselves some Daka. Oh. Yeah, these guys are fucked. And yet this is still the most affordable amount of uh, losses you could have in an Imperial army. Oh, that snipe rifle, though. Yo. <sighs> Gotta love a hot shot. No, that's not a hot shot. This that's just a long last. This guy just lobby, by the way. <laughs> love this, long last. This guy is shouting down his microphone. You can't be a piece of shit! I can't believe you did this! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go again. <laughs> Sick. Always like to see my... Uh Oh. So let's see. I love how they don't even like bat an eyelid. They're like, yep, that holds up. <laughs> oh my god. Wait a minute, I thought this was supposed to be the Warhammer universe. Why are they just having an average day in friggin' Birmingham? Like this is just the this is just the average pub goer. That guy's coming back in a second to save this guy. Didn't seem to Oh 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 shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey, maybe he can just protect himself. Ooh, it's a flamey boy. Burner boy. Oh no. Oh dear. He's fine. He's fine. He's not fine. <laughs> but he got the job well, he done. He did his job. Yeah, he got the job so done. So let's see. Uh, who, who, do you, who can you play in Kill Team? Admech, Gene Stealer Cult, Astartes, Orcs, Astra Militarum, Tyranids, Drukari, Death Watch, Harlequins, Tau, Necrons, Heretic Astartes, Astroyani, um, Death Guard, Grey out? Knights, Thousand Sons. Is this that new one that came out recently? In skirmish Combat. It's literally squad to squad. Well, th this game came, came out. out. What, what, what was that game that came out it's recently? Not Rogue, a... Rogue Company? 
was that was that rogue trader was? rogue trader yeah rogue trader yeah you and i are supposed to play rogue trader at some point huh? yes we are absolutely actually just uh rogue trader cinematic because i saw i saw this game and i was like damn dude damn uh which is the cinematic trailer is that this one probably you know I, I suppose kill team and this have a bit of similarity so I might as well watch both trailers for them yeah it's it's squad to squad for millennia, I love how this is like way more cartoony has the it's like of man, this is like very this isn't very much more based off the comics from what I've seen the, darkness of the, void the comics are really cool too holy terror yet I am but an Ooh. instrument of his will Dude, when, we, when are we gonna get a Warhammer anime like this I'd watch the shit out of that. In his hand. In his it would be another one where everybody bitches and complains that there are no good guys and everybody <laughs> dies, just like fucking cyberpunk. To explore the frontiers yeah, cause this is like you're literally looking at the tabletop. To claim ah, my depth, yep. boys. So, it's, it's, like, it's a lot like Divinity or yeah, Baldur's no, Gate. Figured. And I too come the day i dread we'll leave this mission to you this looks I, i'm getting a sneaking suspicion they 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 hired the people who did uh invincible for this or either that it's yeah. uh my heir it's got that kind of like what uh your sort of western be? amazon netflix kind of one of service homebrew kind of animation style to it a little bit yeah or like Oh my god, Drakari. Servitors. Yeah, no, I really want to play oh it. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, Chaos, uh, fuck, War Beast, I can't remember the name of it. One god, I, I'd watch, I'd watch it, I'd watch a uh, TV show like this. Oh, yo. Necron Secrets. Maybe some uh, Necron tier, mayhaps. Damn, that's awesome. Okay, uh, next one. Okay, this is the one that everyone know. If you're gonna know anything of the space, anything of Warhammer at the moment, it's gonna be Space Marine Two. This one is being hyped up to the nth degree, and I am, I am playing the shit out of this with with you, tier. In fact, oddly, I mute myself. Uh, tier, you might be muted. Oh. God damn it! I was literally, yeah, I, was, I was eating my noodles, and I, uh, sorry, no, like, I was, I, I, it was, I was agreeing with you for all that. I'm like, yes. Um, if you back out of this, if you back out of playing this one with me, I'll kick your ass. Sorry. In fact, th it, this is the first time we've gotten to fight the Tyranids in a uh, Warhammer game that wasn't shit. Look at you, Space Hulk. <laughs> Yeah, Space Hulk wasn't shit. It was just mid. It was forgettable. Yeah. Uh, Yalwan, thank you very much for the resub. 33 months. Spicy ramen. Oh, this trailer went so hard. And it, 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 the fact we got Titus back as well. <clears throat> Purge the Xenos. What, what, what's a girl got to do to get themselves one of those uh, transport <clears throat> craft to get to work in, by the way? Also, you don't, you don't go anywhere. Why do yeah, you need one? Yeah, but maybe I would if I had one of those aircraft. You don't need an Aquila. What are you going to do with it? Can we just take a moment? I love the fact that um, they show that this is obviously an alien, a, a, a very <clears throat> subtle hint to the fact this is an alien world. This guy's eyes are purple. Yeah, that's all Cadians. Fun fact, that is all Cadians. Really? It, yeah, it's a genetic mutation from being so close to the Eye of Terror. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Where are we dropping, oh, boys? Oh, yes. Where are we dropping, that right boys? There. That right there shows exactly how fucking heavy Mark 10 plate really is. Mm-hmm. And if anything, I, I love how much of an like in this short little cinematic, they show how powerful space means are just in the fact that their presence with three of them makes these guys who've been tearing the entire planet apart quiver. Oh, yeah, because these are remnants. These are basically animals at this stage. They're not directed. Like. A full high fleet actually is. God, that's so Ugh, yummy. That's 
such badassery. And there is a primary hive beast. Armagon. I like this is God. like, nah, mate, this is just a Tuesday. <laughs> I do yep. this for fun. Fucking perish. You know what? You, you, didn't, you didn't need that spine anyway. You know what? Oh. I, I'll have hey. this for my collection. What's yours is mine, after Convenient all. grab handle. Exactly. Just like horns. Uh. I want to know what that thing is back there. Like, there's, there was a whole... F I want to know how they took this thing down back here. God damn. Oh. Hive Tyrant, maybe. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not like the Imperial Guards haven't done a good job. They've done a damn good job if they took that No, down they do a damn good job. And the problem is they're just not 597 Valhalla. No. 597th Valhalla. They aren't imbued with the will of the Emperor. Like, our, like Daddy's <laughs> favorite boy over here. <laughs> Chat over there probably knows exactly who I'm talking about when I say that. Ugh. My boy. There was there was a lot of space. Like they, here's the thing though, Space Marine Two was slated never to happen because after space when THQ went down, uh, they they just openly said, yeah, we're not gonna make a Space Marine Two, and then they pulled yep. this out. And the, everyone's first question was, is Titus coming back? And there's a little bit of here's something that I know. My each man. One, each one of those Ugh. is a hundred years, right? They're well, they're com they're commendation and command studs. Well, I suppose he the might point be is, 400. He, he might be 400. It wouldn't be surprising well, if that's the, the case. The point being is that in the in the first game, he only had three. And because this is now four and he's wearing the improved armor, we have to assume that a lot of time has passed since the first game. Oh, so fun fact. Uh, if you're a regular Marine, you can't wear the Mark 10 armor. You have to go, you have to do the whole transformation into a Primaris. And it's basically like back updating a Space Marine with new guts in order to make them into that. Oh, fun. They're like trying yeah. to go from Windows 8 to Windows 10. <laughs> yeah, kind of. They call it the, I forget the name. It's like the bridge of something. But yeah, uh, it's a whole thing. Ah, oh, but I can't, I can't, I, I'm so glad they brought <clears throat> Titus back. Because there's obviously, I, I reckon in my, I think, I don't know if they've actually like said this uh, as a thing. Crossing the Rubicon, that's I, it. Thank I you. I believe their thing is here is that he had so much Riz when he went to the uh, Imperium to get uh, tried for heresy because, you know, at the end of the at the end of the first game, he was like, ah, you touched uh, warp stuff and didn't get turned into chaos. You must be a heretic. And he was like, nah, mate, I'm just really good at resisting it. And they were like, oh, okay then. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, you don't throw away good assets if you can't help it. And Titus is nothing if not a good asset. Absolutely. Oh, I'm so excited. I, do, I, I wonder how much they're going to address that in this. I do wonder. Okay, uh, next one is... um. Oh, we watched this one already. Yep. Uh, this one I wanted to watch Ooh. because I have, I, have a, I have a thing to say about this trailer. And I'll say it at the end. Oh. Okay, Tychus, settle down. <laughs> this was really, like, for those who don't know, StarCraft II was originally <laughs> slated formative. to be something Space uh, Warhammer related. All of StarCraft was slated to be that, not just two. Ooh, Megos Biologians. Mm. Ugh. But the real question is, who did the suit up better? Tychus Finley in StarCraft 2, Wings of Liberty, or this? Oh, this has so much more pomp and circumstance. Also, Tychus is a shit-ass criminal who had a talent <laughs> and couldn't take it off. Yeah, but so... you're not supposed to say that. Uh, that. Daily reminder, in North America, the PlayStation 3 released on November 17th, 2006. Oh, two years later. I Two years later, as the Imperium leads, <laughs> Starcraft Two release. I accept these burdens, knowing no fear. Mm, What's a Warcraft my, supposed to be? A Warhammer Fantasy. Fantasy game? Yeah. I accept these burdens as an angel of the Emperor. Uh, chapter Surf. Servitor. No wonder the Space Marines have a slight I ego. That if they get tampered like this, at every skin. opportunity. <sighs> This veil of machine muscle and it is really nerves. cool to see how this actually works, though. <clears throat> so is this, so is this funny the new too. armor? Uh, if it's latest GW, it would be, yeah. He would be a Primaris. 
also, the thing is, again, I love 30k, and this is 40k. It's all sort of fancy, but in 30k, all the marines literally just put on their gear themselves. It's a whole, it's just a thing. 30k was much more uh, pre kind of ceremonial kind of stuff. It was just armor that you Yeah, that's them. exactly. That's exactly it. It's literally your war gear. It's there to yeah. keep you alive. Get uh -huh. in, get out. And I um I do <laughs> You have to question right, <clears throat> how much pain do they go through wearing this armor? And to the the only correct answer to that is yes. Yes, because life pain yeah. is living and living is for the emperor. So your pain is for the emperor. A heretic. I, grant I mean, again, Ultramarine, it's I not entirely like that, but a lot of it is. Unless you're one yeah, of those, that's Mark 10. Um, unless you're one of those uh, pain marines where the armor is literally embedded into your goddamn skin. <laughs> well, those are chaos. We don't talk about them. Nobody talks about chaos. At least you shouldn't, because that's heresy. And heresy is a crime, and magic is also a crime. <laughs> Attention, citizen! <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Man, I wish I could have a servitor just wor uh, working around me all day. You mean a meat, a lobotomized meat mech? Yeah. I mean, it might not be you. ethical, but would help me do my do my chores. God, those things are so chunky. Yeah, stalker bolters. Are s no, not stalker bolter. Fucking. Uh oh. Whatever the Primaris one's You know called. maybe being a spaceman isn't isn't all it's cracked <clears throat> up to be. If I've got to look after little babies like that, nah. Ugh, no, I hate the Cherubim. They're very much a 40, they're a 40k Ew. thing too. They don't exist in 30k. They don't exist in 30k, thank fuck. Not really. Yo, thank you for the up. I'm not sure whether it shows, by the way, guys, how addicted I am to Warhammer. Literally, all my alerts are War uh, Empress Text to Speech related. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit yeah. upset at myself that I didn't record because we actually watched Empress Text to Speech on stream, and I'm so upset that I didn't record it for re for React Andy content. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you and I can do later. At some point, at some point, maybe we will we'll rewatch it, but not in the near future. With humility, I bear the Imperialis. What a ceremony, though. Yup, like I say. <laughs> and even now, like... <laughs> look out, look at this goofy... This is, this, as, as stupid as shoulder plates are, you kind of need them, otherwise you look... I, I'm sorry, that's just goofy as fuck. <laughs> he skipped he skipped arm day. He did. No shoulder mass at all. And then there's the reactor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which I always thought were booster rockets. I mean, kind of a are, little I guess. bit. It's more like the kind CPU. of are, but it's a power. It's a power pack. No, it's like electrical power. With pride, I wear the symbol of my chapter. Okay, now give him the top half, please, because for whatever reason, Mark Ten plate is multi-piece. Where's the lenses? You know, he's good like that. Just, like, just, just give, just let him walk out with no eye protection. Ooh, that is a stalker bolter. Or is it a bolt rifle? It's a bolt rifle. Mm. Yeah, for the most part, I love the new marine design, but mm -hmm. I there are parts of it that I'm just like, no. Yeah, I, I can see that. <laughs> Some stuff you know, is really It's bad. that moment when 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 uh, when spoiled brat has daddy give them a new Lamborghini. Oh. And they're like, but I wanted it in pink. <laughs> Why am I an yeah. ultramarine? I wanted it in green. I wanted to be a salamander. Now I gotta be a toilet seat. Uh, and let him snap down. Come on. Chunk. There it is. There they go. Nice. Yep. Uh, Love them. The, the, I mean, if anything, that kind of cinematic really emphasizes the level of like, uh, zealoty oh. kind of devotion and yeah. uh, emphasis on like the religious. Moving on, the next part of this Warhammer Bingeathon uh, goes more to a place of my personal uh, experience. Uh, Dawn of War has some of the most memorable cinematics in my mind. Unfortunately, uh, 
I had to make a choice. Either I look, we went and watched the original ones uh, in low res, at which point I would have had astigmatism, or we look at the 8K up res version. Neither of which is a perfect option, but these cinematics are some of my favorite in any game ever. And I used to boot up Dawn of War back in the day just to watch this cinematic. God, you are a gamer derogatory. <laughs> Oh, it's bum, bum, so bum, bum. smeary. It oh. is not. It is not. What are we talking about? It looks fine. Yeah. No. It looks fine. Man, oh. na na. Was... Ah, orcs being <sighs> orcs. What do you mean it looks wrong? It don't look. It Dread don't look boy. Wrong. Okay, I never understood why they left cover like this. Oh my god, I just realized where the oh for fucking Slime Marble came from. It was him yes, right there yes, in the cinematic. That was the Slime Marble call. Oh, oh my god. Listen, oh, you can I hear it. realize that. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a oh? For those yeah, who no, appreciate Slime Marble. You can tell where the... Mm -hmm, you can tell mm -hmm. where the frames are. It goes staticky. I still think it's pretty cool. But again, I've never understood why they left cover like this. Like, running headlong into an orc's front line like this, it's like the orc's going, Oh, these boys want to scrap! Ooh. Let's give them what they want, my boys! Oh my god, that was so blurry. <laughs> I, I know I'm supposed to be focusing on the 40k <laughs> thing. Also, yes, unfortunately, these guys are canon. The fucking... Blood Ravens, but they're not important in any capacity. Hmm. Ugh. Poor little Dreadnought. Imagine being revived only to die a second time. In fact, I suppose realistically, oh, being, having, the, having the ability to be revived only to die a second time for the Emperor would be a mark of honor. Mm. And I never understood that this! Why this? Why? Why you do this? this? this... It's a pretty bad, is it badass? Absolutely. Was it necessary? No, it's a waste of perfectly good uh, space green gene seed. Yeah, that's all about honor and glory with modern space marines, unfortunately. That's true. Still, one of my favorite cinematics. One of my favorites. I mean, oh wait, no, and, and you so know what? Drop pods. They actually did a comparison of the old versus the new. You know what, actually? You're yeah, right. Old, I prefer the original. Old, yeah, no, oh, that's again. that's actually disgusting. Yeah, again, this is what I'm saying. You can tell where the added interpolated frames are yeah. and why it's mirrors. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna make a formal apology. I am sorry I subjected you all to the remaster. We should have watched the original. <laughs> yeah, no, the original still looks good. Like, that's the thing. Well, if that's the case... It, uh. I'm gonna change Why this one real it? quick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. gonna just gonna really quickly change that. <laughs> no, this one still looks really good too. Oh no, this one does. Absolutely. This actually, this felt the most Warhammer because Dawn of War One it was great as a game, but it didn't feel very Warhammery. Like there were way too many Space Marines. There were like the Space Marines felt way too squishy as well. Um, but this was very Warhammer. Yeah. Before you squish, squish. Ah, uh, ah, uh, thanks. Uh, you got rid of that so hernia good. that I had. Oh, that being said, you know the best trailer still for mm -hmm. OG Dawn of War mm -hmm. was for the Necron one. Oh, Soulstorm? No, the Necron one, the one prior to Soulstorm. I'm drawing the blank on it. Wasn't that Soulstorm? I'm pretty sure that nope. was Soulstorm. Is that not Soulstorm? Nope. Winter Assault? Nope. That was the one prior to it. The one I'm thinking of is... Dark, uh, Dark Crusade. Oh, Dark, Dark Crusade. Crusade. That's the well, one. it's funny you mention that yeah. because I did have... Uh, I did have... Uh, that is the best one. I have... I have the, oh, there it is. Dark Crusade's one. Dude, I saw this. This is literally I, the best yes, intro okay, out of all we'll the Dawn of War games. We'll get to this in a bit because <laughs> I, I, I do want to talk about... Like, I want to talk about how much I love 
in-game rendered cinematics. Not enough games do that oh my, these days. Oh my god, yes. I used to uh. I used to love uh Redler for their live action cinematics, but fucking in games like uh back in with like Age of Mythology, Age of Empires, and that kind of jazz. Mmm, those are so good. But let's watch this and we'll get to that in a bit. Mm. Man, I'm so glad this was the last Dawn of War they ever made. I'm 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 really upset they never made a Dawn of War 3. Uh, what now a, I want to play Dawn War 2 Retribution. Retribution was so good. Also, this was the this was the cinematic that made me appreciate uh, just how scary the Eldar could be. Oh yeah, no. Again, they're fucking monsters. I also wonder at the time, do you think that was like an obligation by HR that said, yes, if you're making a, if you're making a cinematic in the Warhammer universe, there must be an obligatory dreadnought in every cinematic at least once. Uh, it's just one of the most recognizable things for Games Workshop. Ah, yeah, the heavy bolter. Oh, uh, this, so this is what it feels like to get killed World by a rogue in World of Warcraft. <laughs> yep. Fucking warp spider like you an ass. Stealthing noob. Uh. Salamander approach to Eldar. Oh, burn them and their children? Oh, uh, yes. What I want to know is what happened to this thing whilst they were trying to go for the witch? <laughs> like, this dreadnought is only there when the plot requires it. Well, he's a, he's actually a main character in two. <gasps> Yo, new sub, Remember? Drago. Fuck it. Yeah. Not like the smell of my own cooked meat in the morning. No, this planet is theirs. I remember watching this originally, and I I only watched it up until this. Hello there. And then I didn't see the scene after where he you fights the. You didn't see the nids. No, you, I didn't. Oh my god. There's the boy. I kind of liked how they turned Dawn of War 2 more into like an XCOM style squad based game rather than a full blown RTS. I was disappointed because at the time no, I was no. I was so into um like Starcraft and everything. It is a full blown RTS. It's just it a is, squatty but one. I I like my RTS with base building and the fact that base building was so minimalistic in Dawn of War 2 was really uh, it was it was it was a bit disappointing. That's why I'm saying retribution because retribution brought most of it back. And yeah, that true, was true. like expansion number 2 for oh, it, I think yeah, and it's the right. best Dawn of yeah, War yeah. game by far. Yeah, true, true. God, the lictors are terrifying. But he's a space marine. He knows no retreat. Lictors are scary AF. But <sighs> he's a blood angel. He ain't gonna get licked by no lictor. Yeah, he will. And then they never made another Dawn of War afterwards. They definitely did not make oh, a Dawn was... of War 3. What? Why is this one also upscaled? Because it doesn't need know. to be. I know, I was, I was, I was, was about to say like it doesn't the... need to be. <sighs> Look. Oh, fuck. Don't. This trailer no one, was so good, it was, too. It That's was, what's this was so actually the, fucking This was the best Don't. trailer out of all of them in terms of the cinematicness of it. But it, the yep. game itself was just what the f did they do? You had one job. You had yeah. the chemistry to make a perfect Dawn of War game, and you fucked. So, you, as 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 Angry Joe would say, you fucked up. So I have a controversial opinion. Choose your the words multiplayer very stuck. Carefully. Look, the multiplayer was awful, and the story, the writing, was. Honestly, it was on par for Dawn of War. It sucks. The story sucks in all the Dawn of War games. It saying just does. you play a Warhammer game for the story is like saying you watch porn for the plot. Pretty much. But as far as the actual, like, in-campaign gameplay, it wasn't that bad. I can respect that. I can respect that. Like, it actually felt like a real RTS and closer to OG Dawn of War mm. than Dawn of War 2. But again, which this, I was okay with. This cinematic just blew my mind when I saw it. Yeah. Like they had all they had to do was take oh, what they had from Dawn of War One and Dawn of War Two, and just make it again. But I they didn't. 
Ha! Ah, joke's on you, you can't get the exterminatus ready. I'm not streaming. You can't drop that shit on me. Also, I'm gonna show- I, I, want, I want you to uh, look at something in a second. And when I tell you this, you're never gonna unsee it. In times okay. of doubt. You'll see. You'll see. Wait for it. I shall keep faith. Ah, oh, damn it. She be tootin'. Ah, oh, I knew we shouldn't have joined Johnny for his fart porn addiction. Ah. The Wallow Boys. The Wall of Reddit mods. <laughs> is this is this before or after the Exodus? Uh, this is also my favorite depiction of orcs as well. Like, goddamn, mm. look at these big. The uh, these are the, these are <clears throat> these are um knobs, right? Yeah, uh, they're the really big ones. Those are knobs. Otherwise, they're just regular the ass orcs. You just tore Space Marine's arm off, with no problem. Oh, orcs are kind of insane how strong they are. Okay, you guys have heard of the D&D shenanigans of three kobolds in a trench coat, but in the future you're going to have three Gretchens in a trench coat. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Fuck, man, they made the the goddamn Eldar bone weaving looks so I good. And bone spears. Listen to that sound. Oh! And the, this, this is what made me realize that the, 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 the noise you hear is the sound of their blades. And it's, oh. In vengeance. Yup. Banshees. So thematic. I shall have no mercy. You shall know no fear. Explodes. I love it. Ah! Killer cans! Killer cans! Let's go! This just space wind going toe to toe with a killer can is so fucking cool. I mean, it didn't. It's for the Gretchen! <laughs> you got uh, a big gun! We've got a big gun! Wraith Lord! This is the uh, moment where the Attack on Titan theme plays, and uh. <laughs> Uh, Qui-Gon Jim comes out of the woodworks to say, there's always a bigger fish. Mm. I shall have no fear. Or, but, maybe not as big but, of a fish, but maybe more aggr like an angry chihuahua. Yes! Angry chihuahua. Knights! I love knights so much! <laughs> you fucking love knights so much! They fill me with so much joy. Mm. Oh, that stabbing sensation. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wait for it. Also, beautiful shot right there. Beautiful shot. Mm -hmm. That's uh -oh. John Cena. <laughs> no, he's got too much lips to be John Cena. <laughs> In the face of death. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know why you would say that to begin with, because you can't see him. Did him. <laughs> okay, that or Randy Orton? Randy Orton's way closer. Alright, fine. Insert WWE celebrity here. Basically. Ugh, the pile of bodies. Mm -hmm. Like whoever the they cinematics were so good. Yeah, whoever they hired to make the cinema to direct the cinematic understood the assignment truly and you could tell they were a warhammer enjoyer so we move from that i i want to watch at least one of these cinematics because these in-game made cinematics were what clinched how much i loved these um the, the there were some other decent ones like the soulstorm intro was kind of nice uh that's it's not anywhere near as good as no, this one but this one this one had me coming back just to keep watching it and it really showed the power of the engine they were using, the fact they were able to just use the models they had at the time and make this kind of stuff out of. Like, this was at a time where in-engine cinematics were really hard to make, and the fact they had this level of quality was stunning. In the name of the Emperor, finish this! Like, if you watch this, you would want to play God of War. You absolutely would. I mean, I want to play Dawn of War right now. Oh, same. Oh, they're getting back up! Damn, Necrons with their cheap death. 
God, Necrons are the most broken thing. Unbalanced I think, I think that in every was, way. This right here, though, was one of the things that kind of threw me off. The fact that the bolt guns were treated like auto guns. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, they are. Yeah, they are, but they, they don't go. Be. They don't go. They go boom, 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 boom. Yeah, they have a fairly slow rate of fire. It's just a lot of moving mass. Mm. Listen, if uh, whirlwinds were my reinforcements, I wouldn't be bolstered by confidence. I'd be, uh, I I'd be, I'd still be pretty damn scared, honestly. <laughs> like, Depends. Knowing... Are they white scars? No, well, I'd, I'd actually, to be fair, if they're white scars, maybe. But if these were just regular old whirlwinds, uh, yeah, you'd need a darn sight more of these for me to feel safe knowing they were my reinforcements. Oh, sorry, speeders, speeders. Land speeders, yeah. God, they're just... But something so I only cool. noticed after, like, my sixth or seventh watch of this, the friggin... Look in the back. There are there are whirlwinds back there. These guns, are, these are yep. the whirlwinds. And I was like, wait a minute, those are whirlwinds? Uh, I, did, I didn't even notice yep. them originally. Like, there's so oh, much going on in this. It's so well choreographed. Uh, predator tank. Oh, predator, sorry, predator, yeah. But the fact they just charge a goddamn monolith as if they have any hope of doing, it, doing anything against and it. And then the Lord is there. You done fucked up, boyo. You done fucked up. So good. Yeah. So good. Ugh. Uh, amazing, amazing in-game cinematics. That that kind of stuff really got you immersed in the world. Uh, now, finally, the nasty little section is a different theming entirely, and it's something that's very, much more pertinent now, <laughs> because uh, this is the stuff we've been playing on stream, and me and Tia just uh, yesterday were playing this ourselves, and I think this is uh, yeah. this is one of the most uh, modern examples of a Warhammer game that makes you feel Warhammer. Very much so. Very, very much so. It is also the, the OST. I have this OST, and it just fills me with pride for the Imperium, and then also realization that I am part of the problem. <laughs> oh yeah. For ten thousand years, Britain. the Imperium has dominated the galaxy. Ten thousand years, the Imperium has dominated the galaxy, and still you'd need an another ten thousand years to convince war. the population of Britain that Brexit was a good idea. <laughs> Every human soul, from the most highborn lord to the most basic servant. God. So much detail in these shit as well. Holy of shit. God Emperor of Question. Mankind. Yes. Do you also have the Battlefleet Gothic trailers up? So I, what, that was one of the ones I was tempted to put in there, but this uh, recording is already an hour long. So what I will say is if people really like this uh, format of uh, enjoying cinematics and Im immersing ourselves in a universe, I will do more kind of videos like this and we might go back and look at some more of the Warhammer stuff. And, uh, but my idea is that I want to do things with like the different gaming universes like League of Legends, World of Warcraft, that kind of jazz and really see how the cinematic mm -hmm. of them kind of comes into play like this. Fair. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you have a suggestion for a, a franchise that does great cinematics, leave a comment down below and we might end up using uh, your suggestions for what we watch. To the elite space you know you're going to end up watching Warframe stuff, stars. right? Uh, Keep humanity safe and League of Legends from stuff. Threats. League of Legends I can deal with. I don't need imagine. my PTSD being re immersed from War Warframe. <laughs> Ooh! You know, I never. Navigator. Yeah, like I never. This is. I think this is the first time I've ever seen like a, a navigator psyker before, and the fact that this guy's never gonna really? leave that chair. No, I've never. Like the fact that he's never gonna leave that chair as well. I mean. Oh no! So he's not. He's not in a chair. He's an entire isolated fucking pod away from everybody else. He's not on the bridge. He's like on the spine of the ship in a bubble. That way, if the ship ever gets hit by anything, he can fucking eject because <laughs> the navis. Uh, Nobility for the fucking these houses basically are their own like system of hierarchical hierarchical government and they could literally just be like nah fuck you I have treaties that say you can't shoot at me <laughs> bye we're here on work experience you're not allowed to shoot the intern <laughs> they get paid a lot more than any intern 
but there is you another paid more than the Inquisitor. Also, it is the one in the which drip. I serve. That's something that this game has done immensely well as well. I'm not I'm not usually one to fall into uh, you know microtransactions and buying cosmetics, but oh boy, the amount the amount the amount of times I've been uh, tempted to expend stupid amounts of money on this game has been ridiculous. Fair. So good. Also, the Ogryn. I think it's like one of the first times you get to see the Ogryn in, in that list as well. True. And this is still mm. the most pleasant experience of public transportation in England. <laughs> Our war is not one of battlefields and fleeting. Wasn't there another game that came out relatively at the same time as this that was based in the Hive City? By the dedicated agents of the Imperial uh, there are a couple. The it one that comes to mind is Necromunda, which was like a Doom shooter. Imperium. Yes, that was the one. Was it's, actually, good? it's okay. The back streets, well, the gunplay feels sun. good and the running feels good, but the in UI is just shit. Like Tershin. Man. Also, I just realized it's only a sword class or a dauntless class frigate that they're riding on. Mm -hmm. It's a baby shit. Little baby. And yet, that's still enough to kill billion. I think they, I think they released a metric recently that since the gate, since Dark Tide's launch, uh, there have been eight billion uh, infected killed. Which I would believe is it. Only maybe a fifth of the entire population. In the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So I was, I've been listening to, again, Horace Heresy books on the regular. Um, they were talking about like taking one of Pluto's moons because I'm listening to the Siege of Terra. Um, literally in one wave just to launch Sons of Horus, or just to get Sons of Horus and Hor uh, Perturabo's boys down onto one of the fucking moons going around Pluto. Mm -hmm. uh, in the first wave, there was 500,000 losses. Jesus, that's ridiculous. And, and that was considered a drop in the bucket for all the fleets coming <laughs> to Terra. Yeah, but that, that really puts into perspective the scope of everything as well. I think that's the biggest thing about Warhammer yeah. in general, is just the scope of everything. Uh, right, finally, I want to watch oh, one more scale. video. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to watch one more of this uh, to emphasize why this game is currently one of my favorites. There are very few other games out there that are as Warhammer feeling as Dark Tide. And with the way the game is now, after all the improvements they've done to it, this game, this this cinematic is kind of what helps emphasize why Dark Tide. If you want, if you want a, if you want a beginner's intro to Warhammer, Dark Tide might be the best one to go for. Dark Tide is wonderful for it. I love Dark Tide. It's Left for Dead, but 40k. Um, kind of. I wouldn't say Left for Dead because GTFO has that a little bit better nailed. Oh, true, I guess. And the, all this stuff they've added I mean, to the game with the new skill trees, the abilities and everything. Oh, so much versatility to the game now. It doesn't feel so like... Shooter Vermintide is good. Yeah. It doesn't feel as uh, stagnant anymore. It's not... Yeah. Like, there's not just one way of playing. You've got so many ways of adapting and, and uh, working with your team. Love the new talent tree system. Mm -hmm. Though I really wish that they would quit fucking with... Uh, you wanna Veterans. Know, you you want to know what the funny thing is? <laughs> this game was made by a studio tenth the size of Blizzard, and yet they made a skill tree that was infinitely more pliable than anything Blizzard have ever put into Diablo. <laughs> uh, again, no, there's no surprise there. Blizzard it has and always will be. Form, or, yeah, form over substance. Everything mm. after Diablo 2 is just that way. Oh, just shooting a stub into and the, the great the the reason why this works is because you can go for the highest level content and really push yourself and everything will turn into a bullet sponge sure but there is nothing wrong with going for the lower level stuff and just thematically going in with a fucking power hammer and smashing away hordes of enemies or going in with an ogryn and just charging through with a friggin stubber and blowing them all away it is hi i snipe with shotguns it's the catharsis it's the grit it's the feel of the game the difficulty and the actual it. the actual gameplay loop is secondary to how this game makes you feel, and it's why I, to me this is one of my favorite Warhammer games. No, it is a it is a shooter that plays like a solid fucking shooter yeah. that we haven't and had 
it's scary because you wouldn't expect you wouldn't like having played vermintide you know that like melee is a big thing but they balance the use of melee the feel of melee and the use of ranged weaponry perfectly yeah i agree i agree i actually again i'm i'm a vermin i'm a vermintide stan i love vermintide but this one it everything just feels a little bit finer tuned Hmm. A lot more forgiving when you get it wrong. Uh, well, I hope that jump scare woke everyone who's watching this on YouTube up. So that is our very brief introduction and immersive immersion into the Warhammer universe. As I said, if you guys have enjoyed this, please make sure you like it. Make sure you go check out T on their side of things. They do streams on Twitch and are a. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna get the, if you wanna get Tia talking on their channel, just mention the Horus Heresy and you'll have a great time. Is that right, Tia? Oh yeah. We'll have a <laughs> wonderful time. And of course, uh, if, if this format of reactionary content is something you enjoy, please let me know. Please suggest things that you might, please suggest uh, universes and uh, IPs that have cinematics that are pretty decent. And maybe we'll go and check them out. Uh, my idea right now is that I want to do things like Warhammer, League of Legends. <sighs> yes, maybe Warframe for as much as that game traumatizes me. It does have an amazing cinematic <laughs> department. And I guess we'll uh, see everyone in the next video. You got any passing words to you? Uh, don't be a filthy heretic or I will come and burn you. Smile. Wise words indeed. Wise words indeed. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.